use the Hummingbird Synergy Ventricular, you must have an H400MR kit and an AirPulse AMS patient cable available. Connect the AirPulse AMS patient cable to the patient monitor before beginning the procedure, allowing the transducer to rise to an equilibrium temperature. Position the drill bit assembly in the tripod, using the tripod to position the drill bit perpendicular to the cranium. Using a drill bit that comes with the kit, drill a hole with an approved surgical technique. Check the drill hole to ascertain that no sharp bone shards exist. Incise the dura. Use the drill bit centimeter markings to determine the thickness of the skull. Based on the skull thickness, use the bolt stop number that most closely matches the thickness of the skull, slide it onto the bolt, and hold it into place. Place the bolt bolt stop in the twist drill hole. Advance and screw in. Stop advancing the bolt bolt stop once the bolt stop provides resistance against the skull bone. Ensure that the scalp and surrounding tissue are not compressed underneath the bolt stop. Ensure the orientation of the bolt assembly anticipates the direction in which the probe will deploy when placed into the white matter. Remove the insert warning tag from the insert and advance the insert catheter assembly through the bolt and position into the ventricle using an approved surgical technique. While holding the insert catheter assembly in position, remove the stylet, verify its placement in the ventricle, check for free flow of CSF, and then apply the catheter hub lure cap. Hold the ventricular catheter into position and slide the insert down the catheter and into the bolt. Confirm two audible snaps to indicate that both insert snap tabs are fully engaged into the bolt snap tab guide. Rotate the two borst cap clockwise until green completely fills the window and cannot be turned further to stabilize the catheter to the desired depth. The arrow on the insert tab indicates the direction the probe will deploy into the white matter. Ensure the orientation of the insert assembly anticipates the direction in which the probe will deploy as it enters into the white matter. Advance the probe through the blue female flexport probe port on the insert. After it is fully inserted, lock the probe lure to the flexport lure. Insert the probe into the probe access system synergy, pass, found in the tray. Advance the probe through the TUI borst valve. Advance the probe to the end of the depth sheath, ensuring that the tip of the probe stops at the end of the depth sheath. Secure the probe by tightening the TUI borst. Advance the probe through the blue lure on the probe port on the insert. After it is fully inserted, lock the probe lure to the probe port lure on the insert. Take the excess probe length and place it in the track of the safeguard and loop around the retaining collar. For instructions on ICP activation, please refer to Chapter 2. Remove the probe from the Hummingbird Synergy Ventricular by rotating the male lure of the probe connector counterclockwise. Place a sterile lure cap on the probe port. Remove the AMS lure from the air pulse lure. After removing the CSF drainage bag lure from the catheter hub, place a sterile lure cap onto the hub. 
holding the bolt wings, rotate the two eborst cap counterclockwise to loosen and bring to the full up position so that green in the windows is no longer visible. Remove the ventricular catheter. Depress both the insert snap tabs on the insert and withdraw from the bolt. Turn the bolt counterclockwise to remove bolt and bolt stop from the skull. 